I want to tell you guys about something that happened yesterday and we're going to get a message out of it. This is what I think we're getting for Aquarius or Aquarius Crosswatcher. You could also reverse this. So I was going down a road yesterday and there was a man and woman walking. It seemed like they were going on their regular afternoon stroll. And the man was actually, to begin with, on the inside of the street. There was no sidewalk, by the way. He was nearest the grass and she was on the outside near the car. And as soon as he saw me, he came from the outside and got towards where the car was so that he could protect her. And I haven't seen that since I was probably a child. I've seen it before, like a man or a woman even protecting her kids walking and getting on the outside to where they're closest to the car and they put the other person kind of out of harm's way. Oh, okay. Out of harm's way. Someone did something here to protect you, unless it's reversed. Out of harm's way way. I feel like it's past tense, but it could also be coming. Okay. I'm going to use the first example popping in my head. Sometimes people will leave our lives. Okay. And then we think that they're just trying to protect themselves. We think that they, I mean, some of them do. <laughs> some of them do. Some of them are only thinking about themselves, but some people will leave our lives or we will leave people's lives to protect them or to protect people who are involved with them. Maybe either from us or from anything that is after us. You know what I mean? Like when a tornado or a really bad storm is coming and you kind of push your children out of harm's way or you cover them and you put yourself in the position, like the hot seat, you put yourself in the position to take the, take the hit, to take the target. If someone's going to get shot at, you run in front of it so that you're the one getting shot and not them. That's how this feels. Now, some of you are going to be like, this is definitely not my message. <laughs> Nobody would do that for me. If anything, they put me in front of danger. They put me in harm's way. I get that. In fact, a lot of you have been put in harm's way by another. Although some... You've actually been protected by another, by their absence or their exit of your life. Now, let's see it a little bit differently. If it's not the person themselves who is actually thinking about you and trying to protect you, because in most situations, to be honest, it's probably not. They're probably being self selfish or neglectful or only thinking about themselves. It could be God or the universe or whoever you believe in personally that was protecting you. Isn't there a saying? Yeah, like... Uh, Rejection is God's protection. It's something like that here. So the man was protecting the woman. And in fact, where did he start? He was actually protecting himself at first. She was, she started on the outside near the car. And he got over to kind of push her out of the way. You've been protected. You're being protected. Whether this is something that happened in the past this is to give you more clarity on it that you were protected in this situation. This is why this person is no longer in your life, either because they knew that they were no good for you, no good for your children, your child, or because they had nothing to do with it and God or the universe did it, removed this person for whatever reason. That's beautiful. I mean, this is a really nice message. Out of harm's way. You are now out of harm's way. And that doesn't mean bad things aren't going to happen. It doesn't mean people that have cruel intentions don't still exist. I think it just means that you are being watched over. You're being looked over. You're definitely being protected in some way. If there's something current going on in your life, maybe even some things that you don't know about at this moment, from watching this video, behind the scenes, you have almost somebody monitoring it, monitoring your situation, monitoring you, your personal life. Is this like, yeah, it could be government. It could be a lawyer. It could be a, para, a paralegal. It could be a private investigator, private eye, you could have that type of scenario where some of you are being protected in that way. Yeah. Or security.
It's like you're going to be moved out of harm's way. But you almost have to see it first. Or the universe is seeing it, God's seeing it. But if it's a person, they may see it themselves and then, you know, get you out of the situation or get you away from it, move you from it. They could even remove something. Okay? Like, let's say there's like a, a mole or something, a mark on the skin. This could be something that gets removed, you know, as just a precaution. There could be something that's like precautionary here. As a precaution just for later, you know, maybe it's benign, but it's like we're going to remove it for precaution, something like that. Taking precaution. Yeah. There is also a level here of just in case. Something to do with Justin. Yeah. Or justice. But just in case this is a threat to you or a danger to you, we're going to examine it. We're going to review it. We're going to something like that. Observe it and take precautionary measures to protect you. That could also just be you yourself being very protective of somebody you love. Maybe you do that. Maybe you walk on the outside. Maybe you protect your children. You're protecting someone like physically actually protecting them. Or whereas they're not thinking of something, you are ahead of it. You know what I mean? You're like, hey, you know. Yeah, it could actually be you yourself that is doing something to protect someone you love helping them in some way. I do feel help. Someone's being helped here. They're being guarded. They're being shielded. Whether I guess it's you doing it or somebody doing it for you or the universe itself doing it for you. God doing it for you, whoever. You know, protection. More protection. More security. Someone here is. Maybe it has nothing to do with you, but something connected to you is going to now be more secured. Whereas before, it could have been wide open. Yeah. Public, even. Something to do with public. I don't know. That's what I'm getting for this message. It's really simple. I don't feel very much else about it. What is this level, though? There's like a level here. It's very underlying. What's the, what's the level of... Is somebody going to get upset because you get protected? Or because something happens in your favor, because the universe does something to work in your favor, like I do sense that here. It's almost like somebody gets pissed or offended that you get, or that you are the one protecting or defending or stepping in front of or guarding, shielding a situation. Somebody here is getting that, that's happening for them. It's like they get angry. This would be like, okay, another example. Let's say someone here is trying to slander you online and, I mean, it's rampant. It's rampant these days. Everybody, that's the way they fight now and then they do it behind the scenes secretly so that you don't know who they are because they know that they could go to jail or be punished legally for it, get sued or something. So they do it behind the scenes, you know, but maybe you have help. Maybe you have people who work in the law or the legal system and then they stop this shit for you. They stop you from getting gang stalked or smear campaigned against or whatever. But then when they stop this and they take down these profiles and they take down these accounts or they do investigation on the people who are behind the scenes, behind the screen, uh, these people, instead of maybe learning a lesson, they get more aggravated or upset. Because I feel like that. They get upset that you've been protected or that something's going in your favor. You got like some kind of evil people around you. Or there's evil people around another and you're the one protecting them. You know? I'm going to give another example. A couple of weeks ago I saw a video of a woman who I believe was in a Target shopping center with her daughter and she caught a man. She literally caught this man. I would, I don't, I'd probably be in prison. Honestly, but this woman did it the best way she could honestly brilliant to keep her head like this also in a situation like this So she caught this man taking a picture of her daughter's skirt I guess he didn't see that she was with the daughter. He thought the daughter was by herself 
she was wearing a skirt and the guy was taking a picture like acted like he dropped something on the ground or he was looking at something on the shelf on the ground and he took a video under her daughter or a picture under her daughter's skirt and so she got it on video she went down another aisle and she started coming down the main aisle with her video on record and caught the guy doing it and she confronted him and then he tried to I think he left the target but eventually I think he was reprimanded but um, he was like no and going against her and she was like yelling in the store but like let me see your phone Get, take that picture off your phone you took a picture of my daughter I caught you and he's like no I didn't she's like I got you on video it's like that but then they get offended like the perpetrator or the assailant or whoever the aggressor gets offended personally gets offended that's the special type of evil right there because you or someone else is protecting you or you're protecting another or call something out you know where you're defending someone or someone's defending you protecting you in some way and the other person gets offended by it and it's like where's the justice in all this like someone is going to receive justice if not up front they're definitely receiving some sort of blockage like no you may not no this is absolutely not right are you okay are you are you mentally okay this is a legit question because something's wrong with you and I mean I feel like this is even relentless this is someone or a group of people maybe even who can be relentless in their pursuit of evil endeavors and it's like no absolutely not you're not gonna do that it's it's not right you know so that can also be going on so you've got protection here you have out of harm's way and seeing something and getting to action call a call to action getting to action taking action no hesitation no complaining just action someone could even have been trying to affect your self-esteem or another person's self-esteem maybe even put someone in a state of fear by their actions like I want you to be afraid like you have evil people like that who want people to, to be afraid they want them to be nervous about their actions and what they're doing they want to harm people they want to bring people down that's just the world that we live in you have people like that on this planet not everybody is has good intentions some people are really evil and they do evil things and so I do sense that here it's like somebody will get upset because they weren't able or maybe a group of people because they aren't able to successfully destroy something or someone and they wanted to initially like their aim emphasis on aim their aim or their goal was to I mean destroy I'm hearing destroy destroy someone destroy their character destroy them physically like destroy an individual like this is absolutely disgusting and evil but when it gets when there's like an intervention here either you're the one intervening and making sure it doesn't happen or someone's intervening on your behalf making sure it doesn't happen or the universe or God or whoever is intervening to stop this bullshit that's going to make these people not learn a lesson but almost sulk over it like that's a special type of evil right there you know what I mean these could even be people or a person who is under the influence of something heavily whether it's an entity a spiritual attachment influence or I don't know some sort of substance influence wow but alright guys that's what we got for this one Thank you for being here with me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.